Hey guys, Gavinite Scarlet here, and today I am going to be showing you my awesome mob grinder. So, firstly, I'm, oops, I'm going to go into my world. Sorry, the one on the one on the computer is a bit laggy, so just bear with me a second. If I get a bit ahead of myself, just tell me. So, here is my mob grinder. Let's see, you can probably just see it. Yeah, that's my mob grinder. It's got a few things that I might need to tell you about, but I'll tell you that once we're on Creative View. Um, it's 850 drops an hour, 71 drops uh, of every 5 minutes. Uh, I think I've got peaceful on, so. Um, yeah, I do a peaceful one. Oh, no, I don't. Something just died there. No, I don't. Um, so, yeah, um, I can remember some of the distributions. I think it's about, like, 20 bones, 21 arrows, like, 9 gunpowder, 8 feathers, 13 string, something like that. Never mind. I don't really need to tell you what it is. Anyways, um, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna switch to Creative View now. So, yeah. Oh, is this it? No, it's Bob Tart. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here is my Creative View. There's my mob grinder. Uh, okay, yeah. So a couple of things about it. Um, the first one is that this obsidian tube is about twenty blocks high. It's five by five. So you want to make the five by f so if oh no so it's five by six. So like if you're making a more grinder, um. Yeah, you should really do five by six. Then on one side of the mob grind, and then on one side of the obsidian tube, just cut a two by four hole in it at the bottom. And you can do this on creative. You can do it in survival. I did it on creative, and then change it to survival. I'll do a tutorial on how to do that. Um, I'll put that link in the description. Yeah, I'll put that link in the description. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build a 2 by 2 tunnel. But it would actually be 3, yeah, it would actually be 3 by 4. But it's going to be a 2 by 2 tunnel. So in the inside it will be 2 by 2. And you're going to want to make that as short as possible. Then you're going to want to add a 3x2 hole. Uh, let me just put some torches. Then you're going to want to add a 3x2 hole in it. And then you're going to want to put a back on. Uh, I'm just going to show you this. Let me just go inside. I've put some torches here so that you can see it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go into here. So. Yeah, and then there should be a 3 by 2 hole by that. You, you don't put any torches, obviously, because you spawn there. And then this is one of the spawner tops. There are four of these. And they are eight blocks away from the 3 by 2 tube. Eight blocks away, and then five blocks away. So I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but I'm going to take a guess at nine by let me see nine by nine by twenty it's about 180 blocks and minus and then minus six so it's 174 blocks each spawn on top and there are four of those so you can do the math that's how many blocks there are once the spawn 850 drop second like I said remember these signs around the edge of the tubes because otherwise the mobs just like don't fall off cliffs they don't want to fall off cliffs they um they just they think signs are solid blocks they just walk right over them um 
then what you're gonna wanna do is yeah, you're gonna wanna build a little house around that block, which is where you're gonna stand. Then you're gonna collect the items. Then you're gonna put these fence gates because sometimes spiders. So sand hasn't been introduced yet, but sometimes spiders climb down these walls, and then that really and then that really sucks because um, because then they get out and kill you. So I put these fence gates in to stop the spiders getting out. Also put some glowstone to stop the mob spawning in there. It won't affect the mob spawning rate by the tubes. And then you put some doors in, put a sign if you want, do whatever you like. Um, put some torches in to make sure that mobs don't spawn in the shadow of the mob grinder. And then, last but not least, you can do this if you want to, but if you're doing it on survival, I wouldn't advise it. You can just put all this chest in your house. You can do a little control center because there's a lot of space up there, so you don't want to um, waste it. And yeah, like I said, I made some tutorials before, all which failed, didn't get published. This is probably the only one that published. There's lots of holes in it, but you need to put like some chests, you make it have glass, whatever you like, chests in it. And then if you like you can put holes in each of the spawn tops to see how the spawn rates are doing. And yep, that is basically my mob grinder and this is Galvanized Gauntlet over and out.